Richmond Park is the largest of London's royal parks and at 2,360 acres is the largest walled city park in Europe. Its association with royalty began in Edward I's reign in the late 1200s when it was known as the Manor of Sheen and it only became Richmond Park in the reign of Henry VII and then turned into a royal deer hunting park much to the fury of the locals when Charles I moved out here to escape the plague from London. Eventually, he partially gave way and kindly allowed local residents right of access by way of a ladder in the wall. The descendants of the deer introduced for sport live wild in the park and give the landscape its particular look through their constant grazing of the trees and the grass. There are several woods and copses in the park, one of which, the Isabella Plantation, is a riot of colour in April and May in the finest collection of rhododendrons and azaleas in London. On King Henry VIII's mound is a spectacular, uninterrupted keyhole view of St Paul's Cathedral, 12 miles away through a viewing corridor down a specially maintained avenue of trees which has been there since early 18th century. The mound stands within the grounds of Pembroke Lodge, which despite its magnificent Georgian demeanor, actually started life as a single cottage, home to the humble mole catcher, whose job it was to eradicate the little gentleman in black velvet whose molehills were such a danger to the horses of the hunt. It was subsequently enlarged and in 1787 granted to the Countess of Pembroke, whose relationship to King George III might be described these days as that of just good friends. In 1955, it was taken over by the Royal Ballet School, who use it today. Thatched House Lodge, so called after a charming thatched summer house within its grounds, was converted from two park keepers' cottages into the current building by the great architect and designer of the Bank of England, Sir John Soane, in 1771. In Poets' Corner, near to Pembroke Lodge, lies the body of the poet James Thompson, who wrote the words to rule Britannia, the unofficial national anthem. Above all, there is nowhere like Richmond Park if you want to go for a long walk in Greater London. You can go for hours without barely seeing a soul as you wander past magnificent oaks, lovely, lovely woods, forests and beautiful lakes. It is a perfect paradise.